What is up, YouTube? Nerdvana86 here. Just another day. Uh, hit up the thrift shops after work. Found some pretty cool stuff today. I got a uh, mostly like kind of comic book related stuff. I found Bone, the Out from Boneville Tribute Edition. It's a little bit beat up on the corners and stuff, but looks good inside. It's like just awesome artwork. I don't know. I've never actually read Bone. I've read other series that this author and artist does though, and he's really good. So two bucks for that was pretty sweet. And then I also got the Avengers Ultimate Character Guide for two bucks. And this one again, like it's not in perfect shape, you know, but it's pretty awesome. There is like, like, so many different characters in here. It says there's over 225 heroes and villains. And I thought just for the artwork is pretty sweet and brush up on my knowledge of some different characters. There's like some of them in here I've never even heard about, some pretty obscure guys. So that is pretty sweet. And then I also got, again, kind of not in the greatest shape, mostly that corner there but the official Nintendo uh, Nintendo Power Guide to Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. It's got this pretty cool shiny cover and like metallic. And I mean, it's in decent shape besides that. I don't know. Um, figured for two bucks it was worth it. I don't have the game myself. I'm not the hugest Pokemon fan, honestly. Like, I played the card game when I was younger, and that was really fun. For the first, I think, like, two or three sets, maybe, I played. I'm not super familiar with a lot of the newer characters. Even a lot of the ones in this, I'm not too familiar with. But this game looks cool. I've always wanted to find it for cheap. And I went back. I already looked at the game and DVD section once, but after I found this, I was like hoping to find the game because that's an expensive game and be really cool to find there so no luck but i'll probably check back tomorrow and the coming days so i got those three i spent like six dollars and fifty cents there and then at goodwill i already i put it on my shelf but i got like a two disc um collector's edition dvd of the first incredibles which is pretty awesome. I've been, I found the Incredibles 2 on Blu-ray a while back at the thrift store and got that, but it's been years since I've seen the first one and I see it often at the thrift store, but it's usually in like terrible condition. The discs are all scratched up and this one looked like it was brand new. So I grabbed that and that was $4. And then I got this little, this guy's name is Piccolo, I believe. I'm not a huge DBZ fan either. But I think he's kind of cool. He like comes apart the waist. And I thought his hands looked funny. And I noticed after like checking it out, his hands detach too. And I believe he's got two right hands because the thumb on this one should be different. But whatever. He's super posable. Kind of cool. So. He was a dollar fifty. It was originally marked at two ninety nine. He'd been there since like last week. I saw him, but it was the half off pink tag, so I got that. And I got this really sweet Facebook deal today, that uh, like I'm kind of surprised that they took my offer because they had a PS4 Pro with a headset and a controller and a bunch of games posted for two fifty. And I asked him if they would um, sell any of the games separately. And I told her that she's like, yeah, told them the couple I wanted. And they said, shoot me an offer. We can negotiate. And I just said 30 bucks. And they were like, yeah, that's cool. That works. And for so for 30 bucks, I got Borderlands 3 and Red Dead Redemption 2. And they're both in awesome shape. Like Borderlands has got the little booklet and the little gold weapon pack code which i'd imagine has probably been used but i'll have to try it out red dead redemption's got the map still so 
Oh, well, that was a solid deal for 30. These are both, I mean, Borderlands, I think is $50 used at GameStop and then Red Dead's like 35 or 40 still. So well, that was an excellent price on those two. And both series that I'm, I love. I had so much fun playing the first Red Dead back when it first came out. Spent hours, just a few days after work, I just spent hours gambling on that game online. And uh, Borderlands 2, I bought that. That was the last game I bought. I went to the midnight release when Borderlands 2 came out and played through that with my brother online. So I'm looking forward to trying both of these out. So that's it for today. Peace, everybody. Thanks for watching. What's up, YouTube? So I just got my power cable for my Nintendo in the mail. So I ended up paying, I think, thirteen sixty with shipping and everything for the the cable. And uh, why? Just one guy. Yeah. There's the number one. Um, and yeah, so my daughter's playing some Sesame Street right now. I don't know. Which. It took me, you can find the number, what's number one? It's just one little alien, right? That one. Yep, and there you go. So yeah, I got the cable for 1360, and I got the, uh, both of these controllers I ordered off GameStop. They were $2.99 a piece, which worked out to be 1163 with tax. And I already, I took them apart last night and cleaned them up. So they came yesterday and they were actually in pretty good shape one of them was really dirty the other one wasn't bad probably didn't need to be cleaned but uh yeah the first so i've got three games and it was showing the blinking red light for quite a while but i just kept trying i tried some of the old tricks that i knew from growing up and i finally got the sesame street to work so that's pretty cool Dad, can you help and me? yeah I got a working Nintendo with Dad? three games for about, I think I sp probably spent about $44 total on everything. Two controllers, three Dad. games. So. Pretty stoked. Uh-oh, looks like it's starting to glitch a bit. But, yeah, peace. So I was able to get Turtles working too, but it's got some lines running through it. Fortunately, both my controllers work fine. Um, yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get these games to work, but uh, I already took the system apart and cleaned it when I first got it, so maybe I need to go back and do the lockout chip thing, which I've read helps fix the issue. Um, so, we'll see what's going on here. But yeah, this is Turtles 2. Pretty cool. So I looked up some stuff online and ended up using this, just some regular rubbing alcohol, 70%, and cleaned out the, all of my cartridges. Like the Turtles one was the worst. They were all pretty bad though. I mean, this was just from three games, the three that I have. And I did what, I saw online where I cleaned them and then I kind of inserted a cart into the system here and did like the back and forth like that a few times. Try and clean the pen connector in the system. And now, ever since doing that, the games work like a charm every time the first try. And there's haven't experienced any of the weird glitching since that either. Oh, that one wants to... Sesame Street kind of does that little reset thing every, the first time, but I mean... The picture's coming in clear without any of those weird artifacts and stuff. And I don't have to fiddle with the game so much anymore. So yeah, the alcohol trick seemed to work pretty good. The picture's nice and clear. Seems to play better now. And Michelangelo is my favorite turtle, followed by Donatello, so. And I made a mistake when I 
I thought this was the Turtles game I grew up with, but me and my brother, we actually had the first one as kids, and that one is hard. Very hard. It never got past that water level, I don't think, so... Kind of glad it's this one instead. I'm probably trying to play through this with my girlfriend tonight, two players, so... Yeah, got it up and running. Going smooth now. Peace. What's up, YouTube? Nerdmon86. Uh, went to the retro game store today because they had their like customer appreciation day sale going on and uh had a bit, bunch of sales and it's funny i've sold the guy a couple things now like my xbox remotes and um he said he stocks my facebook page because i post game stuff a lot and i posted that pokemon xd gale of darkness uh, strategy guide that I found the other day. I paid two dollars for that at a thrift store. I put it up on Facebook for ten, and he said he wanted it if I could bring it by the store. So I brought it in today, and he had uh, PS4 games were buy one get one free. So I ended up giving him the strategy guide, and I got Shadow Tactics: Blades of the Shogun, which I've never even heard of this game until I saw it there, but it looks really cool. It's like a strategy type game set in Edo period Japan it seems like it's got awesome reviews from what I looked up too so I grabbed that which he had priced at $12.99 and then I grabbed XCOM 2 another strategy game which I played this first one on PS3 really tough game but quite a bit of fun too you know like build up your base and fight aliens and stuff so this was priced at $9.99, and PS4 games were buy one, get one free, and he just gave them, he's like, you don't owe me anything, gave it to me straight across, so pretty much got both of these games for $2, which I was stoked about. I don't have Pokemon, so add a couple more games to my PS4 collection that's starting to get pretty big now. I mean, I got a bunch of my games out front, too buy my tv and stuff but it's getting there anyways have a good rest of the weekend everybody good luck peace